Sega. Gabriel Angelos, captain of the Blood Ravens. My chapter is in... The sector is at war. Its worlds are under siege. Chaos spreads, consumes us all. Or if you want to welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Peace of mind, Lieutenant Rakia, at your service. 
And welcome back to Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where last time we managed to finish the campaign as the orcs, and well, <laughs> that was quite the road trip, huh? Yeah, that's putting it lightly. Okay, so now we're going to start as the Space Marines, because, well, we said we would do that as a main you know, stream. Uh, but after we're done with them, we'll move on to the next series of games we'll be streaming. But we will put the other count the other factions as a side quest. So we will go through those a bit slower, but we will still go through them. <laughs> okay, I keep bumping my mouse into the little platform that uh, is on my desk where my monitor and such are on top of. <laughs> maybe I should look at uh, maybe pushing this thing back or replacing it with something it's a bit... Uh, hmm. It was custom made by my father, so it would be a bit of a dick move to replace it, but... Uh, anyways, let's see. Uh, we will see. <laughs> Space Marines are the elite soldiers of the Imperium, genetically engineered and equipped with the finest equipment. The Space Marines rely on their intense training and superior physical abilities to defeat the enemies of the Emperor. Captain Apollo Diomedes hails from the Blood Ravens chapter and seeks to redeem the chapter from corrupt influence within. Yeah, he is back and he is actually the main character in this, huh? <laughs> Fucking jackass. Okay. Yeah, that's going to make it easy to tell this <laughs> tell this one apart from all the other campaigns. I, I still need to see if I can actually delete any of the older ones, just for the sake of it and cleaning up. Ten years ago, we Blood Ravens destroyed the demon Alcare, ending his schemes to rot Subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Sector. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Sector, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the Guard's ranks. Now the Sector sits helpless, wracked by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Ariah Kyrus, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers. Brothers unaware of the Chapter Master's secret allegiance to Alcair. A corrupt Space Marine Chapter Master. A militia crippled by disorder and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life. Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. Declared Renegade, I cannot act against Kairos without shedding the blood of my brothers. Yet, hope endures. A handful of heroes still remain in service to the chapter, uncorrupted by Kairos' heresy. Led by Captain Diomedes, these heroes hunt the remnants of the vile Black Legion across the sector. However, Diomedes' hubris blinds him to Kairos' true nature. If the Sector and Chapter is to survive, he must first overcome his own pride. 
Okay, so it was mostly the same except for the last bit. Because the last time we was talking about uh, the orcs, or rather Xenos in general. Okay. <clears throat> Ten years, Eliphaz and his coven of cowards have run, and for ten years we have given chase. Now our quarry has gone to ground. We shall see that Typhon becomes not their sanctuary, but their tomb. Captain, our advanced forces are reporting contact with Chaos Space Marines. They have engaged the enemy. Then let us advance, brothers. With blood and fire, we shall cleanse this black stain from our chapter's honor. <laughs> So yeah, we start with Diomedes and Martellus. Eliphas is close now. These traitors will meet the Emperor's sword before long. I have infiltrated the enemy Vox channel, Captain. The rebel claim to have felled a brother Blood Raven. Then let us dispatch these heretics and make haste. It may not be too late to aid our fallen brother. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In Chaos Rising, Martellus was the traitor, but the cannon traitor was actually Avatus, so that is why he's still alive here. Yeah, well, just to say that, but I did recall that. You are healed! Do By the Emperor's grace, our brother still lives. Revive him. His experience will be needed if we are to crush these Chaos scum. Your reckless desire to atone will get you killed, Sergeant. What have you to say for yourself? You know very well he will say nothing. He keeps his silence in penance for deeds committed. Regardless, his armor may have been compromised. Initiating proper rites can prevent this from happening again. Just getting through the same tutorial stuff. Here, you go ahead. And yeah, our third one is the Ancient, a veteran sergeant who, who has taken a vow of silence. I suppose the dregs of chaos do possess some measure of cunning. At them, Space Marines! Show them the folly of their actions! Okay, Martellus has the grenades, so we'll be using him plenty with those. <laughs> Moving now. Okay. Eliminated. No, yeah. Wait, what does the ancient take as uh, the rule as? Veteran sergeant. Okay. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Traitor blood has only begun to run. Forward, brothers. Eliphas awaits us. Engage the enemy from cover. Our armor is formidable, but not infallible. These are but gravel. Let's see. I mean, like I said last time during the orcs, the four units that you get are typically, or generally, of the same type. Like we have our melee fighter, we have our heavy weapons, or and uh, our third was actually that. No, that's that's different here because he is not a stealth specialist like Spookums was. Yeah, so we either have another a new assault marine or an, another scout marine or someone else. So yeah, we'll have to see the specifics of what, who, of who can do what and such. Though I think we can still move things around a bit. <laughs> One's going for a dip. <laughs> Okay, one of the things that does that did turn me off from trying to play the other factions is. This is a relay beacon. If we capture this structure, we can use our teleport arrays to rapidly deploy reinforcements. Is that you have to go through this tutorial mission each and every time. Even though there already is a more basic tutorial on that. So that does annoy me quite a bit, but oh well. It's six faction, I would not be too annoyed myself. I would probably be annoyed if we had like uh, 20 factions and all had to do the same, uh, this same thing. Then I definitely would be annoyed. Okay, let's get some scouts. Ooh, pardon. Just back from dinner as usual. Scouts are our basic infantry choice. They are competent marksmen, though their light armor makes them vulnerable. They are best used in missions of stealth and can be further equipped in the field for either close or long range support. Okay, just everyone immediately. Yep, rocks were blocking. Yep. 
No. I'm still too used to grenades being F. Okay. Let them fall. The rebel has deployed heavy weapons. As the codex demands, flank their position and avoid their lanes of fire. Or we just chuck a grenade at them. <laughs> it definitely helps a lot as well, huh? <laughs> okay. But yeah, we have our melee, we have two ranged. We just need our stealth units. But I'm pretty sure we'll find him sooner or later. An orc ship. Greenskins are obsessed with salvage. Perhaps there are resources here that can be of use. Women are already desecrated with their looting. And yeah, where the orcs were partially friendly, here of course they're not going to be. <laughs> So yeah, we need to just avoid these turrets as best as possible. I do like it. At least do try to do something to differentiate each of everyone's start. Yeah, uh, I I think most starts are like this because it's always orcs here. It's not like you randomly find Eldar. <laughs> Scarred power armor. I'll take that. Okay. Let's just clean this up. There, there, and there. Come on. Okay, another piece of armor. Armor. Order oh, four. Right. Yeah. All right. I'm guessing that the same applies from uh, the pre from the main game and Chaos Rising. That the more the higher difficulty, the higher grade of uh, material of, the, of equipment you get. Okay. Command, I am on the move. It's got to keep moving forwards. Take that thing out. Okay, scouts, head over there. Oh, oh, a bit too late on that. <laughs> okay. Okay, clear that out. And <laughs> clear out the homies from the area as well. Okay. Yeah, here we are again with the uh, line of sight trick. Just get close enough to the wall, and there we go. Wait, where do you get Paradox Express from? <laughs> Don't ask me. Okay, so I want to go capture that. This day we join our brothers. What is next then? Uh, I think I may have done a very this old meme that I basically forgotten about. Okay. Uh, yep. Same as usual here. Capture and hold. This is capture. We have it. On my way. You know, the Devastator squad would be ideal here. Their heavy bolters can lay down suppressing fire that slows and debilitates the enemy. Okay, point them that way. You have uh, the enemy is the Black Legion there. Never allow us to keep such a foothold. Expect a counterattack. Actually, the scouts can go in there since they're a lot more vulnerable. Actually, you lot go in there as well. Okay, then we leave the Amadis and the other two heroes here. Orders departing now. Okay. Yep, there they go. No, we can't afford anymore. We are at or we are too close to the limits. Oh. Dang it. 
Mm. Now, to the I other side. Yeah, except for the orc bit, this level is just always the exact same, I believe. Hmm. Actually... There. Yummies, you'll deal with that. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Not sure if I've ever used these turrets here before. I wonder how many we can build. It's yeah. There's not enough Good energy question. at the moment. I hear you. I am on the way. Okay. Here we go again. How much does the units cost in population? It's twelve, twelve, nine, twelve, twenty-one. <laughs> oh, come on! That's um. Oh. Need some more armor. Okay, that should be that. Yep. And of course, freaking demons. <laughs> okay, I did it. I didn't put that thing there with them in mind, but it does help a lot. The way is open. While they are licking their wounds, forward once more. There shall be no mercy, no respite. I shall arrive. Okay. That's a good position. That should be everyone. Yep. Okay. Let's just keep moving forwards, and we'll see who we find at the end of this. Though I think it's an easy guess. Anamras? Alephas. <laughs> They're specifically hunting Alephas. No. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Near instantly suppressed. Way too late on that, but oh well. You deal with those. Ooh. Okay, you were quite hurt. I overlooked that. Uh, let's see, nobody has the stimulant kit though. We'll probably get that after we're done here, but for now. It... You lot back in there. Okay, I don't think I don't think they'll keep spawning from there. Hopefully. Yep. Okay, there we go. Okay, capture that point and then we move in to deal with the slippery hill. Because this should be the what third time he gets killed. <laughs> joins us brothers see how merrily he dances blind to the dark gods who pull at his strings welcome brother no your decade-long hunt is all for naught i will slay you here and your souls shall be devoured save your words Kerr. our emperor will see us victorious this day <laughs> okay, just scoot the, just scoot the camera over. Okay, here we go. And there goes the fight. Oh, <laughs> Mario is going to be upset now. Okay. Good dude. 
Thank you for those. <laughs> okay. Put them some turret to help with this. Nope. I think he takes offense at that. I think that might have done more damage to the Armadies. The cunning that troubled the Blood Ravens. This battle will be your last. I shall not be stopped. Again and again I shall rise, as I always have. Okay, get over here. Uh, okay, he is dealing a lot of damage, though. Take care of those, will you? And that's Alephas gun. Know this, Pavich. Even with my death here, the Dark Gods still hold you blood ravens in their grip. Soon, the gods shall have your chapter's loyalty. And you, good Pavich, are still too blind to see this. <laughs> Lies! Lies! Nope. The line was a bit off there. Well done. Well done. It was wise to send our chapter's greatest champion to scour the Legion from the subsector. You, Diomedes. My lord! Chapter Master Kairos, I was not expecting communication with you so swiftly. As both Chapter Master and Chief Librarian, my reach is long, Captain. I watched your victory unfold. See to it that Typhon is secured while you await further orders. And again, Apollo, congratulations. I... thank you, my lord. You honor me. Are you satisfied? I am not. I am, however, disappointed. <laughs> With just a few honeyed words of favor, you discard all that we revealed to you of Aurelia in an instant. Enough! The Black Legion is routed. As for you, I will see that your fates are decided shortly. Hello, Cyrus. Okay, there we get the stimulant kit for healing. And let's see. Scarred power armor. Etched with litanies and supplications to the Emperor, this armor provides protection far beyond the ceramite and alloys that went into its manufacture. Uh, armor of Fortitude. A reservoir of stimulants carried in this armor affect the bioscopia implants of the wearer, granting him extra strength and fortitude to carry on in spite of grievance wounds. And just mastercrafted power armor made from thick ceramide plates and laced with electrically motivated fiber bundles. This heavy armor is distinctive of Space Marines. And we got a plasma gun. This specialist issue weapon is slower firing than a bolter, but able to damage any target type. Effective, effective against high value single infantry. Okay. And yeah, among the Space Marine ranks, who better to be the stealther than Cyrus, huh? Yeah, well, I guess this means we will not have any yum packer. Nope. Let's see. Tactical Marines, shotguns for scouts, or missile launcher. Let's see. Devastator's Thunder, favored by Devastator Sergeant Publido of the Marauders chapter, this powerful missile launcher con uh, contributed enormously to the defense of subsector Carbonell. Swift Dark Elder vehicles were no match for Pulido's flawless, <clears throat> flawless marksmanship and the mighty weapon in his hands. Let's the see. Ancient and the only... These can use that one. So I guess the Ancient is the heavy weapon guy? Uh, yeah, probably looks like it. Uh, let's see. I, I did say that there are differences between each faction with the four characters. And I'm thinking... Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't know how quickly we'll face vehicles, but to just have a, an anti-vehicle weapon ready already would be good. Yeah, but also tactical marines. Yeah, elite infantry that can shrug off most small arms fire can be equipped with multiple weapon upgrades. Hmm. I think I'll grab this one just to be absolutely certain that we don't get caught with our armored pants down. Captain, we have incoming Vox from the Inquisition, sir. This is Inquisitor Adrastia of the Ordo Hereticus. Captain Diomedes, it seems you have been busy as of late. You have no doubt heard the reports. Eliphas the Inheritor and his forces are defeated. The Black Legion has been routed from here. I trust this puts the question of the Blood Raven loyalty to rest. This news changes very little. In fact, I am contacting you to inform you the situation has escalated. One of your own captains has made some disturbing accusations regarding your chapter master, Azariah Kairos. Angelos! It is he and his followers who are traitor and renegade. By all rights, I should turn Gabriel's men over to Kairos. So you have often said. Fortunately, he did not mirror this sentiment when he sent them to you to command. It is by Captain Angelos's recommendation you are being given the chance to clear the Blood Ravens of guilt. The Ordo Hereticus of the Inquisition will soon deal with these problems in a quite permanent fashion. Exterminatus. The complete and utter destruction of every inhabited world in this sector. No one will be spared. Traitor, Xenos, or Loyal. All will die. Exterminatus? But... Captain, if Kairos is truly the source of the sector's troubles, you must expose it and stop him. If you can, then perhaps I will be able to call off the Exterminatus. And if you cannot, your chapter will be declared heretics and you will burn with the rest of the subsector. I suggest you act quickly, Captain Diomedes. Adrastia out. Such an investigation will need to be performed without Chapter Command's notice. We will need to move quickly and subtly. And yeah, it, it's still <laughs> it's still the Inquisition that is going to be the uh, the push that gets all of these factions moving towards Kairos. Because well, none of them want to die. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, here. Okay. The army Special is... Armor. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, I still don't know where, where these come from. I'm not sure if it's part of a DLC extra that I got along with the game or something, or that they just come along with the base for having the base game and such. Uh, let's see. Armor of the Martyr. 20% suppression resistance, which is good for a melee tank. The selfless space marine places himself in the line of enemy fire, allowing his brothers to flank from behind. And yeah, let's on put it on you. He need my allies. Okay. <laughs> That's also nice. And only the Armadies can wear that one. If he has some sort of taunt, that would be really useful. But if he's going into melee, he's going to get targeted by most anyways. And let's see. Another Armadies only weapon, the Sanctus Mortis. On kill, increase armor by 50. Okay. 10 health regeneration to user and nearby. 20 resistance to all nearby. Okay. A holy relic of the Quick chapter. <laughs> uh, a, holy a holy relic of the chapter. This unique blessed two-handed power axe is wielded by only the most prestigious of the Blood Raven's honor guard. The sight of it cleaving heavily armored opponents into separate halves is enough to fuel the resolve of even the most injured space marines. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> that thing almost counts as a hellbar as a hellbard. Oh, how I forget the specific pronunciation of it. Actually, I think it might actually well, also count as one. <laughs> okay, chant of the righteous. Okay. On take damage, lowers ability recharge times. The righteous shall not be discouraged by pain. They shall welcome it as a test of their worth. Okay. And commander item, helm of the champion. That's his own helmet again. Although many commanders go bareheaded on the field of battle, others use command issue helmets. The mas this mastercrafted helm offers extra protection, improving both armor and health, increasing the likelihood of the command. <laughs> the likelihood the commander will survive an ambush, or just any fight at all. There we go. That's yeah. how we know him from the previous game. Now let's have a take. Yeah, let's take a look at his uh, 
<clears throat> as his abilities. Zealous leadership, attacks heal Diomedes and his allies, honored armor, enemies that attack Diomedes have a chance to be damaged and knocked back. Oh, yeah, there we go, taunt. Force an enemy squad to, you know, to switch targets and engage Diomedes, drawing their fire from away from allies. That's That sounds like it's targeted at a specific one, not just a general everything in the surrounding area attack me. Emperor's strength, increase health. Additionally, he regains health with every enemy attack, rendering him nearly impervious to small arms fire. That would be really good, yeah. And the last stance. When reaching critical health, the Omidis becomes invulnerable, gains all energy back, and cannot be suppressed or knocked back for a short duration. Okay. Weapon prowess increases the Omidis' rate of fire with ranged weaponry. If equipped with melee weapons, he cleaves through multiple targets. Okay. <laughs> Vengeance. Increased damage. Enemy units that attack the Omidies have their defense lowered. So that would pair really well with taunt. Heavy weapons aptitude. The Omidies is able to equip heavy weapons such as the heavy bolter, plasma cannon, and last cannon. Stunning strikes. The Omidies' attacks have a high chance to stun enemy units. Certain victory. To victory receives a vast increase in power. Yomides violently uproots the earth beneath him, knocking back enemies in his way. <laughs> okay. And then we have Battle Cry. Lose a powerful battle cry that increases the damage output of nearby allies and renders them immune to knockback. Yomides performs special attacks with every melee strike. Inspiring Will. For every tenth of 10% 10 of life the Armadies is missing, the recharge time of two victory is reduced. Fearsome Shout. Battle Cry, become, uh, Battle Cry causes nearby enemies to cower in fear, running away and dealing less damage for a duration. Righteous Vigor. Increases the Armadies' energy and lowers the recharge time of his abilities. And Chapter's Vengeance. All of the Armadies' default and unlocked abilities stun enemy units. Okay. Hmm. The first one on the fist thing there, giving cleave. Yeah, that, that's a must. And is it again? It will also be again be beneficial if we do give him a range weapon for. It, it, it's just too good to ignore. Now I'm thinking we on this line we go at least to taunts. On this line we go at least to vengeance. And I'm thinking at the absolute least the three here. That still leaves two points to be spent elsewhere. I don't think making the armadies go ranged is that is going to be that useful. But we'll at have to see. Heavy, let's not with heavy guns. Yeah. Mm. But let's start with the uh, the fist. I don't know what they call it. Great here. Uh, offense. We have offense. stamina, offense, and and, and will. And yeah, let's yeah. go with that one, and also grab a battle cry where we're in while we're at it, because just a damage buff for everyone is always going to be useful. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay, and now that we know that ten is the max level, we can actually plan around things a bit better. Now, Martellus, the Tech Marine, you can equip the Plasma Gun and the Flamer. You actually cannot equip... Oh, oh we, are, we already started with one of these. <laughs> okay, would have been nice to know, game. Okay, oh, so yeah. Um, the, the really? Age, you know? Oh, hmm. that's my response for... Oh, we already had a bazooka. bazooka. Yeah. Rocket launcher. Okay, Martellus cannot use these at all, but the Ancient can get them if we get them the Devastator trait. Which I think is going to be a requirement then, if we want to have just good anti-armor. Because we saw quite a bunch of that last time. <clears throat> Anyways, back to Martellus. Uh, let's see... It requires level 2 on that, so let's give you somewhat decent armor. You're probably going to be our Grenadier and Healer for the moment. So actually, let's see. let's see. Powerful sweep, melee attacks, knock back, and occasionally stun enemy infantry. Omnisaya's fortitude, increase health. If he is not deployed, terminate his gain as bonus. Remote repair. Molotellus repairs allied vehicles and structures from a distance and with increased speed. That would be really useful once we get access to some vehicles. <clears throat> Pardon. 
inspiring. Martellus regains health and inspires nearby allies, increasing their damage for every enemy he kills. If he is not deployed, Terminate has gained his, yeah, gained his bonus. Teleporter Relay Beacon. Construct a teleporter relay beacon, enabling squads to reinforce. Additionally, nearby allies regain health and will periodically reinforce for free. Okay, that would be really useful for defensive spots. Arcane Knowledge. Mortellus increases the damage and explosive range of any frag grenades or proximity mines he has equipped. Strength of the Machine Spirit increases damage if he is not deployed. Dreadnoughts gain. Missile Turret allows Mortellus to upgrade his Tarantula Turrets with missile launchers. Tank Hunter increases the effectiveness of Martellus's weapons against vehicles. If he is not deployed, Dreadnoughts gain a chance to incapacitate enemy vehicles in melee. Okay. Venerable Dreadnought Drop Pods. Deliver a Venerable Dreadnought by Drop Pods. <laughs> Basically what oh, it says right oh. on the tin. That, that, that one sounds... Uh, that one sounds hard to resist. Yeah. Then we have Automated Repair. Repair is automated, allowing Martellus to perform other actions. That would be useful. Tank Warfare increases energy. If he is not deployed, increase the speed of vehicles. Blessing of the Machine Spirits. Drastically increase the rate of fire, damage, and speed of allied vehicles and turrets. Ability must be channeled by Martellus, and moving Martellus interrupts the ability. Okay. Extra Equipment. One more accessory, if not deployed, increase the health, damage, and speed of the honor guard that replace him. And Curse of the Machine Spirit. Blessing of the Machine Spirit can be used on any vehicles and structures, significantly limiting their effectiveness. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it would make sense that he'd one? be able to work a lot with vehicles since, well, he's a freaking tech marine. Yeah. Now, because he, hmm. how would we do it, like... Vulnerable Dreadnought Drop sounds way too good to ignore. Yeah, and just also the fact that he gets better with grenades and such, so that's already one point right there. For the rest, we'll have to see how we go with things, though. I think this actually is just going to be pretty useless, because, well, I don't think he's, suppo he's supposed to be going into melee range. Let's, let, let's see, his armor... Yeah, armor rating is mostly determined by his stuff. His health is 700. And yeah, he is the third lowest with that, so having him in melee is going to be a bad idea. Hmm. He will still need to be close enough to use those grenades, though, so let's give him the flamer. <laughs> okay, first time I'd actually hit the screen. <laughs> Holy. Okay. That's my okay. job. Our Silent Ancients. Might as well give him what remains of the gear that we have. Let's see, you have Conviction. When, when abilities are, are activated, the Ancient is temporarily invulnerable. Unshakable, the Ancient is immune to most damage and most types of knockback. If he is not deployed, Tactical Marines gain this bonus. Tactical Advance. Uh, break Suppression and reduce incoming range damage at the cost of movement speeds. Tactical Fortitude increases the Ancient's health. If he is not deployed, Tactical Marines inherit all of his unlocked stamina traits. Okay. Stern Guards adds Suppression to range attacks. Additionally, the Ancient regains a lot of health for every enemy he kills. And Devastator. Well, we know where, <laughs> we know where the okay. first point is going. Okay, that, uh, I am... I was gonna say, I'm happy that one was d that early on. And not halfway through. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's still read out the description on this missile launcher here. The Stardis Mark V missile launcher armed with high explosive crack missiles. This weapon is the bane of those feeling safe behind armored plating. <laughs> okay. Target finders increases the ancient's damage and weapon range. If he is not deployed, devastators gain this bonus. Maim attacks have a chance to maim the target, reducing their defenses and causing them to bleed. Heavy Weapon Specialist no longer has to set up. If he is not deployed, Devastators gain this bonus. Always good to have. Artillery Master. Call down a barrage from allied artillery positions, devastating the area. And we have Assault... Okay, so we do have sort of a, an Assault Marine. Let's see. 
can rapidly deploy to a new location, knocking back and damaging enemy units around the point of impact. Cannot be used with heavy weapons such as heavy bolters. Okay, so it is either Devastator or Assault Marine. Hmm. Then we have Charge. The Ancient gains a powerful combat charge. When not deployed, Assault Marines gain this bonus instead. Lightning Strike, upon completing a jump, increases the you know, speed and damage output of the Ancient for a duration. Tenacity, after jumping, the Ancient's next uh, jump costs no energy and recharges immediately. If he is not deployed, Assault Marines gain this bonus. That would be really good for hit and run. We're just disrupting a larger line of enemies. Hmm. Vanguard, increase the range, area, and damage of jump, and stuns enemy units on, yeah, stuns units on landing, regain energy for every unit hit. Okay. So yeah, we'll have to be a bit more picky with the Ancient, with what to, well, what to put his points into, and uh, if we want to use him as a mostly anti-vehicle unit, or if we want to use him as a uh, jumper unit for disruption. Oh dear. Hmm. We'll have to see how well the others are against vehicles to look at that. Let's see. Nothing on vehicle stun. You are good against. You, yeah. You have. You can get traits that make you more effective against vehicles, but you still cannot use rocket launchers. So that would still be a basically a weaker version of using the rocket launcher here. And last but not least, we have Cyrus, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. Recovery. Cyrus slowly regains health while infiltrate is active, regardless of whether he is in combat. Instant revival increases Cyrus's health and enables him to resurrect allied heroes instantaneously. If he is not deployed, scouts gain these bonuses. Silent recovery. Cyrus automatically infiltrates while unconscious and slowly regains health. Upon resurrection, he will remain re yeah, he will remain camouflaged until moved or activating infiltrate. Okay, so basically an auto revive, though it will take time. <clears throat> Drop smoke. When infiltrating, Cyrus drops a smoke, a smoke grenade that stuns nearby enemies. If he is not deployed, then scouts gain his bonus. Remote teleport. Mark a position that can be teleported back to at any time. Okay, so this line is all about him being a slippery eel and getting away from things. We're just sneaking in under the nose. <laughs> rapid reload increase rate of fire deadly aim increase damage if he has not deployed scout gain lethal efficiency reduces the energy cost and recharge time of cyrus's abilities mark targets marks his current attack target increasing the damage the target takes allies attacking the target are healed if he has not deployed <clears throat> scout gain this bonus enlightening reflexes Attain a focused state of mind, slowing down the passage of timing, increasing the rate of fire markedly for a short duration. Okay, so as fitting for him, he is. this line is basically him being an assassin. And then we have stillness. No longer infiltrate, no longer consumed energy if Cyrus is not moving. Extra equipment. Uh, if not, increase health, damage, and speed of the honor guards. Advanced Infiltrate, increased movement speed while infiltrated, and using abilities no longer reveals him. That one is going to be really useful. Well, since we have no... Ch <laughs> since we can't trade Cyrus out, I probably should have used him more in the previous two games, but he'll get the shine here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. Then we have Vigor, increase energy. When not deployed, scouts can infiltrate for no energy cost and do not reveal themselves when using abilities. And Master Infiltrator. Infiltrate no longer costs energy, and while active, no longer prevents Cyrus's energy from regenerating. Okay, that would be really right. good if we gave him a bunch of accessories to just mess around with while he is stealth. Because he still yeah. can't attack, though. I just realized, he probably is better sniper than Spookum, since, well, he actually have a sniper rifle. Yeah, Spookum's was more for the shotguns. Hmm. Where to start, though? I'm gonna guess it's probably easier to use him as a sniper in this game. True. Hmm. I'm thinking we try to go at least for Silent Recovery. Probably most of the offense tree. And we'll see how much we can get over here. 
So for oh. now, let's just increase rate of fire. Because, well, a sniper with a higher rate of fire is always good. Okay, and you'll get some equipment later on. For now, we go to the laid on temple ruins. On Typhon, there are the remains of an ancient teleport network called the Teleportariums. If we can find and activate it, we can use it to promptly travel the subsector unnoticed. Enemy forces lie between us and the Teleportarium. We must engage them if we wish to proceed. To all officers and regiments that may be receiving, we're through with Imperial Command. If we have to fight, we're gonna do it for ourselves from now on. You wanna call that defection? Fine. We were dead men anyway. At least the cults promised something in return. This region is ours now. We see anyone, anyone within a mile of here, we'll bury them in ordnance. Don't doubt we can either. The regiment's holy armor isn't that particular about the holiness of them that drives it. Okay. Those bits are going to be the same <clears throat> through every sector. It's just how the, you know, the characters respond and uh, well, the brief about everything that's going to be different. Let's see. Garrison troops. Many, uh, yeah, many squads are fortified inside durable structures. Grenade, sniper, and flame types. Da -da -da. Some enemy squads wield heavy weapons like glass cannons, heavy bolters, tie those squads down in melee, or flank them to keep uh, clear of their firing arc. Okay. What robots can we get? <clears throat> we can get Thule's ally. Oh, hello. Call back the Thule. Tactical Marines are on the board again, and Assault Marines as well. They'll they're wearing that stupid beak helmet <laughs> to tell them apart. <laughs> okay, here we go. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that these loading screen bits are not going to be any different. Okay, I can't help but think of ATSTs whenever I see those chickens, the sentinels. I wouldn't be surprised if they were Scouts inspired by those. Point of terrain. Okay, we know how this is going to go. However, I will say this about the sentinel uh, that the Imperial Guards have compared to AT. Oh, uh, wasn't this there was one called again? ATST. ATST? The Sentinel one looks more heavily armed and looks like it can survive uh, way more strikes. Yeah. <laughs> Especially survive two incoming logs. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the AT in the, the AT in the first half of both names stands for all terrain. And I think with the 8080s it seems for Oh hell we've been found. All right, you fiends. I don't care who you are. Feel the might of the beam blade. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to have to be running from this thing again. Yeah. If I recall correctly, 8080 stands for no, um, weaponry is potent <laughs> enough to penetrate the beam blade's armor. We need to fall back now. All-terrain attack tank or something like that, and with AT-ST, it's thanks for all-terrain scout tank, I believe. Could be completely wrong about that. Also, hello, Martellus. Damnation! We can't get through here. Find another path. I am on the way. Okay. Yeah, enemy. The yeah, heroes revive at the recent. Turrets could go haywire if a cogitator is destroyed. And yes, we'll be using the very same trick. Have we ever met to get recruitment, I think, in any way? Ash again. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Scouts or Devastators? I think for now, though, we can uh, save on that for a bit. Because, well, we'll all be running away from the Bane Blades. Uh, I'm taken. And, well, that would get a bit awkward if there's just an entire conga line of scouts. Conga, 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 conga. 
And we love you. Hello to the traitors? It makes no sandwiches. Oh, of okay, Cyrus, take out that one. Okay, <laughs> Martellus is giving them a warm welcome. A very warm welcome. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, frag missile. Okay. That actually makes <laughs> that actually makes rocket launches somewhat useful against infantry troops as well. And of course he shoves that right up. Yeah, put Delmedy's ass. Okay. Cyrus, can you shoot out those barrels that should cause them to explode? Come on. Hmm. Okay, that actually doesn't cause much to happen. Okay. Okay. Some stormtroopers up there. Okay, I, I think it might. I think it's been a good idea to upgrade. Yeah, to upgrade Cyrus's yeah, rate of fire because he's still rather slow with that. Ah, found ya. Demolish our cannon. Open fire. Okay, get moving. There. You two move forwards. This one did not measure up. Okay. Yeah, one of the main Yeah, one of the main weak points behind this game I'd say is that the, during the yeah, during the missions there tends to be a lot less uh, chatter between the characters. So be, beyond that, the gameplay of each level doesn't change too much. Okay. Let's wait for that to be captured. And then we move on. Let's see. It's a dead end up there. It, Cyrus is intended on making it a dead end for them. Okay. It does seem that Cyrus's fire rate and his uh, ability use are not linked together, so that's good. And basically, double tap a character, yeah, double tap a target. Okay, get moving, you lots. Hmm. If I remember correctly, we can actually get the Bane Blade ourselves if we play as the Imperial Guards. Though I think Inquisition might be a more accurate uh, namer for them. The <laughs> only is just running in and getting blasted up his ass by whatever that was. <laughs> I hope it wasn't the. I hope it wasn't the ancient causing that. Okay. I should have targeted this one for that, but oh well. Cyrus. Nope. One of our initiates has fallen. I don't think. Cyrus could be called an initiate anymore. Okay, let's just leave. Okay. The army is getting back on his feet. Maybe I should put the stim pack or the, the medic pack on someone who isn't going to be throwing grenades every so often. Hmm. Okay. Capture that. No. Okay. And on we go. It's another capacitor to take out. Command, I am on the move. Think you are my brother, I am 
Okay, you're too low on energy for that. Hmm. Maybe I should put the med pack on Cyrus. That we'll have to see. He doesn't have a perk anymore that lets him use it differently, since he's now always an energy-based item. Pluck the chicken. The rest of you just get moving. Are oh, you winning, Captain? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the agent getting a full face of chill there. <laughs> okay, get moving. Get moving. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> One there. I wonder how effective crack missiles are against garrison troops. Hmm. Can't really tell if it was the crack missile doing that much damage or something else. Okay. There, there, and there. Okay, and on with press. Hmm. One of our okay. sentry guns is under enemy attack. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, just keep on pushing. Cyrus, can you actually take a shot at the bunkers and snipers are supposed to be very effective against that? Yes. Okay, the rest of you it's actually go over there. Grenades. Yep. <laughs> okay, everyone to here. Take out that target. Okay, yeah, Cyrus is being able to snipe suppressive units like that is going to be real useful. The Ezra, I think it might be good for us to have the ancient as our heavy weapon guy, since. Like, yes, sure, we had fun with Brickfist in the last playthrough, but Brickfist had the ability to really make him fun as a young actor. <laughs> yeah. The, the fact that he could also throw out the, uh, the Melta Bomb ver version, or the Tank Buster, also made him very effective against yeah, vehicles. It was yeah, still he was still Nail Brain to also be good against that, it just meant that we had a lot more cover of anti-vehicle. Yeah. But still, Brickface was basically a living rocket. Yeah. A missile and all that. The Assault Marine here, option here, I don't really get that same uh, feel. What do you mean we can't pursue any farther? We can't let them get away? They can't escape? Oh dear. Yeah, I'm highly presuming that these stairs can't take the Bane Blade's weight or something like that. And we have to say, the, the voice acting in this game is actually top-notch. <laughs> Let's see, well, it's a, it's a good thing it is, because we're going to be hearing so many lines so many times again. Yeah. Really? Just shooting the stairs? <laughs> I don't think you're going to be finding an elevator over here, Ancient. Okay. Also, something to note is that due to his vow of silence, the, the ancient just just does not respond in any case, no matter what. Beginning my move. So props for that. Oh Command, I am on. I am under brother. I am in here. Here we go. So we should probably take this route, since, well, the Bane Blade is going to pop out over here, so it's best we not just immediately run face first into that thing. 
Okay. And now that we're at the end, we might as well get a few units. Have you had to see? I kind of feel like the Vow Sally on the Ancient kind of makes him a bit more terrifying. <laughs> like, he will not be doing any Warcrow anything. Basically, you will notice a rocket launcher is fighting at you when it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> And it's already in the flight and heading right for your face. Okay. Yeah, do I doubt the heavy weapon teams it makes shout for the Emperor when it fire rock and roll launches a lot, but still it's, it's, okay. it's only terrifying. <laughs> now stop building Delta Lights. Okay. Is the chicken gone? Okay. Yep. There they are! This is it, you maggots! We'll bury you here! The game might as well be winking at us to go for the cogitator instead. I recognize that voice actor. Hmm. Again, I do have to it wonder... Really, it's... I will leave in a ruin. Good one. I do have to wonder if there might be an achievement or something for getting for beating the Bane Blade without using the Alice. Oh, no, just reblocking blocking the whole way there. Uh, Cyrus, can you just try and sneak past just everyone else? Distract this thing. And distract is the main word here. Actually, yeah. yeah, you're not the best against dealing with me, structure. So, actually, just everyone ignore the tank as much as a tank can be ignored. I don't feel like Ow. us not having an assault marine. We may have a, a more difficult more time. Technical options. Yeah. Like, every faction plays differently. A worthy end for you! I believe this is it, Captain. I will need a day to examine the relic and determine its usage. The sooner we can pursue this farce, the better. Farce, Captain. Do not doubt this. At the Inquisition's behest, we are engaged in a mutiny most foul against the chapter's leadership. The Inquisition has placed the Blood Ravens at the brink of oblivion, and it is for that reason alone we do this. We will search for evidence that will damn Kyrus. Or perhaps redeem him. Redeem him? You still believe there's innocence to be found? I doubt we will find much of anything. Knowledge is power to us Blood Ravens, and we guard it very well. And there we have the motto again. Zeal and fury are rewarded with victory. <laughs> but yeah, be <laughs> I don't know the specific of it, but I'm pretty sure that when they, when the Inquisition just basically well, requisitions a bunch of Space Marines, then the chapter can't really do much about that. Even the chapter master himself, maybe, not too sure. Let's see. <clears throat> Melt the bomb pack. High yield focused subatomic charge. This powerful anti vehicle explosive is thrown like a grenade, but will ad adhere to a target. They inflict heavy damage to vehicles, but are not usable against other target types. <laughs> and we got a melter gun. Let's see. Firing a scorching gout of molecularly agitated heat, melter guns can cut through any armor at close range and can be used while on the move. Their efficiency. Effective, I still <laughs> know how to fully say that word. The air efficiency drops off sharply with range wherever. Basically, people don't stand in front of it at point blank range. Yeah. You probably won't be able to respond in time. Since there will probably already be a hole in your stomach or chest yeah. or whatever they aim at that. 
Let's see, Zulu's ally, a heavy bolter, plus 10% accuracy and plus 8 damage to all nearby enemies. And minus 11 weapon range though. Long before his interment in a dreadnought, Captain Davian Thule was a respected Devastator Marine. This, heavy ma uh, this, yeah, this massive heavy bolter was his weapon of choice during centuries of warfare. Hmm. Then we can choose between tactical and jump marines. Or assault marines. Let's see. Assault squad that is effective at closing distances quickly. Additional upgrades include the sergeant, blind grenades and melter bombs. I'm thinking since we have to choose between heavy weapons or assault marine that we might I, I think we'll go with these so we have the options still available. Yeah. That's probably what we have to do. The teleportarium is now active, Captain. We may leave Typhon at any time. We must locate further teleportariums in order to reach more planets. And yeah, just how they travel around, or how each faction travels around is basically somewhat different, but it's always the same spaces, I believe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Increased damage, heavy weapons, no. Let's work towards Taunt, since most of his current equipment works off of that, and we probably don't need to replace it too early on. Also, let's move that away to someone else. You don't have anything that really uses energy, except for a frag missile. Does this actually say... Okay, it doesn't say how much energy each cost. That would have been a nice little quality of life thing. Um, let's give you these, so you are effective against both infantry and vehicles. And put this one on you. Okay, Martellus. Let's see. Still don't think this one is going to be too useful. Ooh, but he can use the multi melter. But multi I meant melter, not multi melter. <laughs> Let's see what's the attack. Okay, also twenty one. Hmm. Okay, that would make him a lot better of an actual anti vehicle unit as well, since you can see it does one hundred percent damage to infantry. Yeah, heavy infantry building and buildings. It's only 75 to vehicles, but that's still a lot better than every other weapon type that isn't specifically anti-vehicle, like, well, <laughs> the rocket launchers. Yeah, it's hmm. probably better to give it the Melta, since what well, platform is good, it's very limited. Uh... Hmm. Then maybe we can still build him to be a bit of a swap around between Devastator and Assault Marine. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a question. Well, that, that would be possible, but then it would mean we need to ignore the green side completely. True. Hmm. Let's see, we can max out two lines entirely, but it would be partially to swap. Actually, not... Hmm. Let's see. It's either heavy weapons or jump pack, but the rest of this, or most of these, actually, no, this entire line is all about jumping. But on this one, only this point and this point are for heavy weapons. So... Maybe we do make him a jumper, but then we can swap him to anti-vehicle when we get a prompt, like a lot of vehicles are going to be here or something, so that would be weakening him a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I say let's not, sense. the old young people is a lot of micromanagement. And we did just get a squad to do the job. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to focus on both of these and ignore Will entirely. Okay. Yeah, for now. And also, do remember, well, we did, we did, we were kind of lucky with Brickfist. We could able to send him as a one-man rocket army most of the time. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that is a gamble on its own. Let's see, Cyrus of Corp. Well, yeah, you can actually. Hmm. Okay, I, I thought we'd have to find specific scout armor again, but apparently not. Hmm. Oh. Okay, beyond that, we only have these. 
And I think we can actually just trade this one in because it deals less damage and such. Just a little bit of extra experience, which is enough to push Cyrus over the edge for next. Let's see, with Cyrus, it is going to be a bit more of a bit of everything, I think. Hmm. But let's focus on his damage first at the moment. Then we'll see what we get from all from the other lines. Okay. Attention! All okay. armed ravens of Strike Force Omega in the Argus district. <laughs> this message is encoded. Do not worry about our brothers receiving. The ascended fierce investigation and pursuit by those who are less enlightened. He wishes to ensure that all traces of his passing on Calderas are eliminated. As such, Argus settlement is to be raised to the ground. Success will ensure his pursuer's trail shall grow cold and his great plans realized. Such desecration of our recruiting world by our own battle brothers cannot be allowed to stand. We must intervene. Okay. Target anti-building troops. Take out enemies that pack the biggest punch first. Bring anti-vehicle weaponry. Space Marines fuel some of the toughest ar yeah, vehicles and armor in the galaxy. I okay. have to say, this is not good for memory. It's pretty good we still keep uh, the H1 as a heavy weapon guy for... We did meet a lot of vehicles. Yeah. Plus, we have a soft time limit in that, well, we can't, we need to stop them from, the, uh, from destroying all of the buildings. <clears throat> yeah, this is only question, question, missions that are a bit uh, a different nice twist on. With it, we yep. can deploy our heavy infantry and holy armor. Moving to capture. Okay. Though I think they only start doing that once we move forward, I think. So we do have a small Ready window. Yep. Okay. I shall arrive soon. Yeah, once we break this, then is when they start, I believe. This is Captain Apollo Diomedes of the Honor Guard. I am issuing a stand-down order to all Blood Ravens in Argus Settlement. Cease this pointless slaughter at once. We no longer accept orders from the likes of you, Apollo Diomedes. We answer to a higher authority. I see. Then I will have to do what even Angelos will not. To all Blood Ravens under my command, Brother Marines are engaged in the destruction of Argus Settlement. They must be stopped at all costs. Should they refuse to stand down, use of lethal force is authorized. You would not dare. By the Emperor, I dare. I will do what I must. I do not know how you lost your way, but I will not see this desecration of our recruiting world carried out. You will stop one way or the other. In one way, you could say maybe that uh, Apollo is stronger of will in that way, or just, uh, yeah, basically say that he and Angelos are definitely not the same type of person. Yeah. Uh, uh, hmm. We should probably recruit more units. Yeah. When we can, I just realized we don't, we don't have too much of resources. Destroyed an ally structure. You have okay. Uh, Cyrus, you're not going to be useful against vehicles for the moment. For capturing heavy armor, our devastators can be given last cannons. Melter weaponry and power fists are also formidable. Orders? Ooh. Yep. On my way. Okay. The tight center. AKA the, the tax center. Actually, you two jump in from there. Can you even reach? Get a bit closer. Okay. 
Okay, the rest of you yep. attacking from the other sides. Okay, Cyrus, this is your specialty. Pick off that one. And since it's only one who always carries the rocket launcher, that decapitates them. Okay, someone clear that building out. Okay, good. Was that? Yeah, that was our that was our devastators getting slaughtered. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Why did you idiots not jump in? Okay. And some goodies. Orbs of the Omnissiah. Okay, so that's the EMP grenades. Okay. Next bit. Uh, no, he... Oh wait, can he even repair it yet? Uh, yeah, he, he already has repair. So there we go. Oop. You lot, go deal with this. You might want to get in the fight as well, Martellus. Okay. Yeah, luckily they don't have too many anti-building units. Sergeant Lysandros, come in. We have come under fire. Our mission has been compromised. Stay calm, young brothers. I will deploy heavy support. It will arrive in moments and crush these worms. Order. This is Imperial territory now. Oh, right. <laughs> Ancient. Martellus. And that's their support as good as gone. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure even if we didn't kill Lysandros here, he would get killed for wasting a dreadnought like that. You have Captain Dyer command. I am on the move. Okay. Let me get some actual Marines. The glass cannons and all. Let's see. Yeah, let's get a few of them, if we can. Yeah, we can afford one squad again. Okay. There, there. Okay. Yeah, our time limit is gone. We just need to get rid of them. Uh, let's see, you jump in there and deal with this thing. You destroy that. Martellus. Okay. Yeah, this should do. Okay. Uh, ah, grab. I was just about to say, not enough energy to get rid of that, or to jump out of there. Okay, Martellus. Uh, okay, I was going to tell him to grenade that, but there is no need. <laughs> okay. Oh, that the plasma weapon. Dragon fireballs, okay. Okay, Cyrus put this one out of his misery, will you? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so drop pods are counted as separate vehicles. Have one more of these. 
Okay, Martellus is going to hate himself for having to destroy these, but oh well. And Terminators and Ab. Uh, okay, Martellus. Martellus just got absolutely nuked by the drop ones. We get the tarantula turrets. Let's see. Grenades received from the tech priests of Mars, which temporarily disable vehicles caught in the blasts. And dragon fire bolts. Area of, effect, the area of effect explosion on impact, good against targets in cover, but reduced single target damage. <clears throat> Only usable by the ancient. These hollow bolter shells explode with a gout of superheated gas that make a mockery of cover. I can only Martell has got a level there. <laughs> of course. Okay, let's see. Sword of Salvation plus 30 armor. The Puritanical Sergeant Leons carried this gleaming blade into battle during the. You know, Redzak heresy, spilling the blood of a thousand heretics before falling in combat with the fearful chaos sorcerer Neroth. I think we've heard the name Leons before. I think so. And yeah, to fill in for a bit of a weakness in our squad with ant. Mm, it's not really a weakness with anti. Yeah. To have our assault marines be better, I think we can get this one. Or shall we get the tactical marines finally? Because we will Ooh. lose either of these two sooner or later, I believe. I think we might have it covered enough at the moment with anti-vehicle. Yeah, let's go with tactical marine. Hmm. Captain, our forces and battle options have grown recently. Though I am loath to remain behind. You might consider deploying without Cyrus, the Ancient, or myself. Doing such will allow you to deploy with more forces. <laughs> of course, he mentioned Cyrus first. And, oh, Ancient got a level as well, after all. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, still I still I'm, I'm still unsure about sending him into melee, of all things. Not that we've had any melee weapons except for Diomedes. Hmm. Let's, let's at least upgrade his offense at the moment. Hmm. Let's see, that is only four frag grenades and proximity mines. So we can give these to someone else to be used. Hmm. Actually, I'm thinking we move this to the ancient. So we, because he is usually going to be at safe distance. And we give the only these the grenades, since he is going to be well in range of most weapon in the in range to actually throw those out at vehicles most of the time. In the meantime, let's keep pushing you down the offense line. Okay. Now let's see. We have an optional mission at the Blood River, or we can go to Aurelia. And unlock I Terminators. Say, I say go uh, optional first, since yeah. we did mention that, that uh, it's probably smart to do all optionals first. Yeah, for experience and equipment. I've detected Xenos yep. activity. While not related to our objective, investigating may be beneficial. I remember, use those shiny bridges, cause they bring good luck. If there's an ambush, be at the supply depot it will. Don't let the enemy reach the supply depot. And protect the trucks. 
I don't care how many of your kids get smashed. I'm sending some boys ahead to loot and make sure there's no ambush. Send cans and then send boys. All kinds of boys. You were saying? Uh, that, yeah, we definitely need to do it for the loot and all that, since <laughs> it will make the final mission easier. Yeah. Let's see. We can get access to Dreadnoughts of our own after this. So I think that's an easy choice to make. Yeah. And then let's see. If we don't bring Martellus along, we get a venerated Dreadnought. If we leave the Ancient behind, we get... They are Stern Guard Tactical Marines. And Cyrus, you would expect scouts, but no, freaking Terminators. Uh, Terminator assaults. <laughs> Assault Terminators at that. Hmm. Oh. I do wonder if they will still get experience if we do if we send the Honor Guard instead. Hmm. Yeah, that yeah. is a good question. Since we want them all high level for the final mission, so. Like, if they still do get XP from the on god, good. But if not, yeah, yeah that kind of makes you wonder why you're bored with the on god. Yeah, I'm going to presume they still get it, but I think we have. Actually, I don't think we ever took the on guards with the orc. So, since Cyrus uh, is not going to be uh, as effective here, uh, let's I take the on guard instead. Once. Maybe I, I'm not forgetting. I'm, I'm not here. I'm not remembering. But right. Okay. Let's use this mission as a test. Uh, actually, yeah. let's let's double check his uh, XP level now. Let's see. Two nine three. Actually, we would get to see if he gets experience anyways at the end. Yeah, that's why. Uh, why I say we should note it down. So when we do finish the mission, yeah, we will see if there's been any points given at all. Yeah, and plus, like I was uh, saying, Cyrus as a sniper is not going to be as useful here, since, well, it's mostly hordes, and he would be good for taking out knobs, but I think Terminators are going to be more effective here for mowing down the groups, because there's going to be a hell of a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear. Drive slower, you break me bitch, he says. You know, forget to drive on the shiny bridges for good luck. Listen up, kids. War boss Smash Face says there will be fight night, and we need to get our key to the war. So just be sure to get enough trucks past the supply station for the war! Okay. Go ahead. Depart. We should not strike the ore convoy just yet. If we continue for the supply station, we may find a better ambush site. Uh, yeah, attacking at from this angle, while well, generally still an advantage, would... Well, Put us under a lot of fire without any actual cover. You have I shall arrive hmm. soon. Oh, so those are going to jump yet yeah, now. We're... Okay, those jumped up a lot earlier last time. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we can equip them with lightning claws. Ow! <laughs> it's the bunch of orcs got whacked around there by the Terminators. And that was their knob, I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh, let's take another look. And yeah, we can give them lightning claws, fight against infantry, heavy infantry, and vehicles, deal splash damage with each blow, making them the ultimate melee upgrades. Right then. Okay, it doesn't say what their thunder hammers are normally effective against, though. But, and it doesn't have a cost, it's just time for well, implementing the change. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah, we didn't get to pull that off last time. Okay. Hmm. Moving on. Wait, could these photos that far last time? <clears throat> no, it. I was. <clears throat> we upgraded the ancient ones' uh, range with weapons. So it must just have been a height difference or something, maybe? I, I don't know. Maybe? Uh, either way, we're just going to keep pushing forwards, grab whatever we can. Okay, you lots scout ahead. Yep, never mind. Oh, hello there. And goodbye there. <laughs> okay, that was rather easily dealt with. I'd actually forgotten that the cam just attacks there. Okay, we're not falling for that. Okay. Actually, just fire a crack missile in there, please. It, it would have been... It'd be appreciated if you could... <laughs> if you could hit anything of them. Right there, Ancient One. Okay. Did one of them jump down? Okay. Oh no, there's a slope here. Okay, I I thought this was a sheer enough cliff for enemies not to be able to walk up them, which is why I teleported them over, thinking that well the grenadiers were going to get an easy attack on us as we went. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Oh, soon we'll be able to recruit some uh, support. Now, we could already ask for it over here, but it's uh, quite a walk back, you know. Quite yeah, a walk forwards. Yeah, I figured it as much. Now, I think for most... For the most part, I'm just going to be a bit... Uh, conservative with extra units, since there's only space for so many. To be actively selected at once here, but not for them to be easily selectable here is a better wording. Okay. Uh, you let grab that for a sec. Hmm. Plus, we, we typically only need the units that much towards the end of the missions. Okay. And well, we're, oh, we mostly want devastators some. here to deal with just the influx of orcs. And then um, so we can get some recruitment for it. Didn't we need some at this level? We went through. Now, once we get once we get to ambushing, that is when we're going to need a bunch of them. But we can get we can grab some early. You wish destroyed. So let's get some devastators. At one point short, really. Okay. How do we end up with only one point there missing? Yeah, that's a bit weird. Okay, either way. Uh, hmm. We don't have any anti vehicle. Oh no, we can use. We can blow up the barrels. Yeah, I think one of the other marines can be upgraded to have some anti vehicle weapons. Like heavy last cannon and such. I have made more for the anti uh, 
pretty fancy structure to get rid of these easily, but that's where they have the barrels here in case you don't have any anti-vehicle stuff, anti-building stuff with. Okay, clear that building out. What? There wasn't supposed to be any fighting while we were sleeping. The trucks are almost here. Ready to okay, get the back. Spores. Boss Smashface says we need to keep this way clear for him. Uh, boss, they destroy the shiny bridges you like. What? You spent a be lying to me, boy, and you spent me dead before I get there, because I don't like being lied to. No out of me way. So I'm going to do all the work myself. And when I'm done fighting, you all get your faces smashed. <laughs> Good Lord, what do you expect from an orc called Face Smasher? Okay, get out of danger there. Yeah. Okay. Once we capture that, this is, yeah, the convoy is gonna move in, I believe. Yep. Yep. Let's get some tactical marines then, I guess. Because I think they had the uh, they were able to have some upgrades that you can uh, as a tactical. It's, it's devastators. Yeah, but, but didn't it? Wait, what good who is the tactical marines have as an upgrade? Yeah, uh, tacticals, they don't have any at the moment, but they are the uh, most flexible right. ones. Okay. Uh, maybe it was a typo that had, uh, uh, but it said earlier uh, tactical marines had uh, the last cannons. Yeah. Okay, must have been a typo, yeah, or a misread, maybe? Yeah, or even maybe I misheard him or something. Okay. Actually, we can probably move those forwards. There. Okay. What word? Yes, Commander. Heading out. If you face that way, please. Okay. Someone go break those boxes. Can we get any more? No, we don't have the requisition for it. Okay, so the game froze for a second. The same. No mercy, no respite, God. Okay, all angles are covered. Uh, we can capture that, but we just don't. Well, we okay. We now have the requisition for a bit more. Let's get at least one squad of tactical marines then. Okay. Kraken bolts temporarily increase damage against he armored heavy. Okay. Actually, you go over here to join up there. We don't have the points for another turret. Okay. And yeah, they'll be starting any second now, but we should be good on this. We have, yeah, one missile turrets or one missile squad looking each way. Here we go, boys. This is where they said the fighting was. <laughs> this is exciting. Can you feel it, boys? Here they come. Okay. Yeah, of course, the long range. Okay, the Omidies, get up front. Martellus. Okay, they're still just enough in range. But they are going to be a disruptive bunch. Yes, it's very clear there. <laughs> okay, there comes a truck. They should be able to deal with that. Especially since, well, the ancient one is also looking this way. Hmm. Okay. 
Get into them. Yeah, we got this covered quite literally and figuratively. Smooth for them with the orcs, actually, even. Actually, you lot get in there as well. Just in case. Have the entire wall covered <laughs> with guns. Okay. And yeah, now it's just a bit of a waiting game for more of them to arrive. Okay. There they are, I was about to ask. Normally we can't see stuff moving in the fog of war, so I'm guessing that is being extra loud. <laughs> Oh, no, damn it. No one missed. Now yeah, they hit mid center in all of this. Oh, I mean, if they saw someone, they should have rocket and hit the rocket. Okay. Hey, uh, someone ate the. Did someone just fired one of the last of plasma fees through the rock. That's a well, force. It is a laser cannon, so it would go straight through. <laughs> Wait, they're not red? I wonder what else cannon was supposed to do red laser, not blue. Hmm. I, I'm actually trying to remember it. We, I think we used a last cannon at one point during the base game in Chaos Rising, but not beyond that, I think. Hmm. Oh, could be an oversight. And we can put down some more turrets. I'm a bit surprised they're not going this way. Get in there. Okay, two more vehicles coming the other way. Departing now. Also, the, the, the way Geomedy says that, it's like he's picking up the freaking phone. <laughs> Still more to come. We did lose some cover. Actually, well, it looks more like they got, got knocked out of cover, but nothing beyond that. <laughs> and Smash Face just had their face smashed in. Okay. That should be about the last of them, I think. Yeah, just two more over there. Okay. Okay, this, this is almost just not fair on the orcs. With all that fight, we lost all our gear! Oh, it's gonna take a whole day to find all our gear again. They don't even care that they got their asses kicked. All they got <laughs> is that they lost their stuff. Let our enemies beware. So and even then, only us. temporarily. Oh, first gift of the artificer. Ooh. A unique, item will, a unique item is to be released from the chapter vault. The item will be customized to the currently selected squad. Okay, so 
this this yeah just the same as uh, the shiny stuff for the orcs beyond that we got the armor of leadership okay 30 health to all nearby allies plus 20 armor to all nearby allies traditionally awarded to battle waters of the fourth company of the blood ravens upon their promotion to sergeant this armor has changed hands many times and has been worn by countless heroes of the chapter okay quite a historic piece and again, nearly all of these things do we find as just historical relics. <laughs> now, let's see. Holy Armor of Purgation. Purgation, yeah. On critical health, unleash a blast of psychic energy, damaging and knocking back enemies. Plus energy and energy regen. Modified power armor, born for centuries... Yeah. Born for centuries by a Grey Knight of the Ordo Malleus, Blood Ravens claimed this armor from a Blood uh, from a Grey Knight's remains after the Necron assault at Lorn Five. Okay, aren't, aren't the Grey Knights supposed to be uh, mostly unknown even to the others, <laughs> to the other chapters? They are, with some rare exceptions. Yeah, th that's. Yeah, that that's got, not gonna go well with the Grey Knights. Yeah. Like from what I hear, they have an entire forge world they're dedicated only to supplying the Grey Knights. Let's see. And, well, the Dreadnoughts. The sight of a Dreadnought killing enemy units inspires nearby troops, temporarily increasing their combat effectiveness. Comes with the Emperor's Fist ability and can add an Assault Cannon and receive the Dark Age of Technology upgrades. Okay, now I'm curious about the last one there. We're definitely grabbing them. And, well, flamers are flamers, of course. <laughs> okay, let's see. There are is. Let's keep working towards your taunts. This is not better than what you have. Let's see. 18, 8, and 5. Let's actually just go down the line with this. Okay, Cyrus. Yeah, uh, yeah, just still continuing down his damage line. Martellus. Let's see. Hmm. Still a bit unsure to go past here with him. This definitely is still useless since we haven't found a single melee weapon so far. Yeah, he's weird. And let's at the least get this tank warfare for the energy increase so he can use his grenades more often. Let's actually see how much that upgrades from 130 to 180. Okay, so an upgrade of plus 50. Let's see. Surprise, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hello there, the Siren Ivy. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Just as I look to the side, I see the pop up come up. Hello there. Uh... Hello, <laughs> Oh, hi, Pete. So you're bringing a raid along, huh? <laughs> oh, hello, everyone, and welcome to this madness. <laughs> uh, hello. For everyone who doesn't know me, I'm Captain Hillian. Over there is my, well, <laughs> co-host, Rakir. Uh, we typically stream a variety of games for the story. Currently, we're streaming Dawn of War 2 Retribution uh, as the Space Marines. We will eventually, <clears throat> we will eventually do the other factions as well we've already done the orcs uh but we you know, when we get to those it'll just be on a slower scale because this game does get a bit repetitive with every mission being the same and mostly well the differences are mostly in the units that you use and tiny bits that are dependent on faction uh let's see pizza how are you yes streamer had to go quickly so is currently not here sorry about that no problem but she sends her regards okay <coughs> Hey, 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 hey. You forgot the last line. Yeah, yeah, Hydric here. <laughs> Hello. Uh, anyway, thank you for the raids, Ivan Syri. Uh, let's give you a quick shout out, if I can get the mouse to escape from this for a sec. Uh, let's see. S.O. The Siren. Uh, yep, almost mistype. IV. Nope. There we go. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, got it right. They were playing The Sims 4. Okay, I've got that one since it was made free, but I 
I haven't played any Sims games in a long as well, but I think I mostly still prefer The Sims 3 because it has a wider world. It's like, Sims 4 has a lot more... Uh, what would be the words? Uh, technical stuff, maybe? Since it allows Sims to actually multitask things, which makes things a lot easier to work with them. But it's just also a lot smaller since as things are mostly just confined to the house instead of having access to the most of the neighborhoods. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Pizza. They ended with Sims 4, but before that it was Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay. Uh, single player or multiplayer? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go to the next mission. Time is short, but whatever deeds these heretics are committing cannot be ignored. We should investigate. <laughs> and let's see. Pizza, single player, it was a second playthrough, but it's been a long, long time since I last played. Okay, we showcased uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 recently. Yeah, well, no, not last week, last week again. Uh, two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago, about. And let's see. Yeah, we're we're probably going to unlock the Terminator squad in this, huh? <clears throat> uh, let's yep. see. Yeah. Enemy structures, yeah. noise marines, and doom blasts. What are you, what are you reacting to? Who <laughs> are you about to sneeze? sneeze. <laughs> okay, just, just about to ask if it was that instead. Okay, let's bring Cyrus back to the forefront, and let's go. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, how have you been otherwise, Pizza? Doing well, I hope. Ah, interlopers, come to witness the glory of the Dark Portal. Draw near, then. Watch as the entropy of the warp claims and cripples flesh and steel. We shall savor your despair. Hmm. Hold on a second. The map is slightly different now. You probably are driving here a bit differently than the orcs. Now, when we were playing as the orcs, I think it was uh, 45 degrees clockwise more turns. Why, why it's not that way this way? It's a bit odd. Probably easy way to make it feel different. Yeah, then they would have done that with more, but they didn't. Hmm. Yeah, but in the end, it could be an attempt to add variety. But we do know they have a bit of a reputation of reusing the maps over and over. True. Okay. <laughs> Either way, we're going to move forwards all the same. Okay, I think Cyrus might actually be a lot better to use against the uh, Noise Marines, speaking of. Because he can deal... Okay, that dealt no... Okay, now it dealt damage, what? Okay. Get rid of these jackasses. Mortellus. Start the eviction notice, please. Cyrus. Let's pick them off in there. And... There. Diomedes. Focus on the ground troops, please. I don't really see them... I don't really see the point of those... Uh, Strange designs of camouflage units because they can't attack whilst they're camouflaged, or I don't think they can. So, what's the use of it? Okay. Anyways, though, 
is going to keep moving on. And we evict the chaos. The chaos traders. Okay. More structures. Something I've noticed with attack moves is that the your units won't actually target buildings when you give them an attack move. Uh, let's see. Uh, pizza uh, could be better like always, but I'm playing my main on Overwatch 2, so good. I got two death threats from two different people. Yeah, of course. And let's see, I'll just be lurking for now. Like always, it's a pleasure talking with you guys and watching you. <laughs> thank you for that, Pizza. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's always it's hey. always appreciated when you, you know, decide to show up. Yeah, and I hope uh, the show will... The show? What? The show will be of great enjoyment. <laughs> Especially uh, when the game decides to break and send another Chaos Marine or Orc off to their own planet due to physics going wonky. I miss that. <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. But we've had it happen so many times during the base game and Chaos Rising that I fully expect it to happen sooner or later here again. True. Hmm. Actually, no, I didn't. Now that I look at it, okay, the map isn't turned. I was mistaking this place on the map with this place. So, no, it's not It's not turned. It was just me mistaking things. Oh, so it not, was not even the distorting of the location then? Nope. Yeah, Mark, why, are, why were you going into melee, Martellus? So if they're going to drop the base on you, you drop a, a grenade on the corpse, okay. You no way across that thing. Magnificent is it not? We have succeeded where even the great old care could not. Come closer, approach the portal, gaze directly into the maw of the warp. If you are fortunate, your lives may be snuffed by its entropy, rather than our blades. Edgelord much? Then again, every Chaos Marine is basically an ed Edgelord. Okay. Ooh. Clear that place out. That's a burn. Okay, tell us to speed it up a bit. Okay. <laughs> Even it's still, you can't hit the spider of the barn. Yeah. Orders ready and moving. Uh, let's see. Let's go this path. Martellus, grenades, Cyrus, snipe them, and the ancient one can go over the building. Okay, uh, was that an accidental hit there, or is... Okay, he is actively targeting those. Hmm. Okay, does that mean that they will attack... Hmm. That they will auto-attack... Oh, attack move buildings if I... If they have... No, apparently not. Okay, good. Okay, I might have given him a specific order to attack those, but I missed that. Okay. Get rid of them, please. Okay. Grenade will deal with that. Hmm. A part of me does wonder how we, the, uh, how a the, how a Dawn of War game would go with uh, Unreal Engine Five. Good question. Because I think that I think that's been out for a bit now, and just what people have already made with it, it has been quite impressive. Cyrus, there we go. Okay, Martellus, deal with that. 
Oh, you can just pick this up. Hmm, the, uh, quite low on power. Yeah, we've not gotten much of that. Hmm. So I think we might. I think I might give Martellus the Flamer back, since now he is very. Now his only real method of getting good damage in on infantry is the grenades. Yeah, these two are quite slow in their attack me methods. Dramedes needs to get up close to get to deal way. damage. So either I send Dramedes with Martellus at every point for cover, or I give him uh, the flamer or something else again. Hmm. Also, someone can't take no for an answer, it seems. Oh, yeah, that, he definitely got split in twain there, the long yeah. way. Yeah, didn't he get a proper look at it? <laughs> yeah, it was gruesome even for the Blood Ravens. <laughs> so they decided to just body block it for censorship. Okay. Yeah, see they're camouflage, but they can't attack. Okay, they can attack, apparently. Okay. Camouflage against this bitch. Uh, yeah, they got on camouflage just before, but it's still... I don't think you can camouflage against grenades. I hope you almost blew up your own uh, marine there. Yeah, he had been getting knocked around where Martellus' grenades for quite a bit now. I should see if, if we get any armor that gives uh, knockback resistance or immunity, then the Armadies is getting it. Speaking of, the Armadies get to the forefront, you. Cyrus is sniping from across the ho from, yeah, across from half the map. Ambush. No, wrong grenades. Freaking noise. Shut them up, Cyrus. Okay, did. Ow! <laughs> he just got. He just got blasted into the side there by the noise. Was it from the noise machine on the dreadnought? I couldn't tell. What is your... Okay, shut this one up because he's keeping Cyrus pinned. And the noise machines are really freaking annoying. They are very noisy. Okay. Martellus, eviction. Ancient, take care of the buildings. Cyrus is just going to pick off whatever target he can find. Okay. Uh, Cyrus can be in the hand here. There we go. Okay. Move aside. Also, we should probably call in some. Demons of Cord, come forth! A feast of skulls and blood awaits you! Okay, we probably should have captured that one since it's a lot closer. Yeah, we need the reinforcement. Okay, we're to the melee. Dreadful, but any extra firepower will be welcome there. Okay, grenade in close range. Okay, 
We can at least take a pot shot at one of them. Just as I was about to tell the retreats. Okay. Give the armies a hand there, please. Woo! Money! Yep. He's getting knocked around. And there, there is a... ...barrack thing there. Is it that not? Yep. Okay, how did I completely overlook a freaking headquarters? Right. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Oh. Okay, uh... Oh, it's been... It's been auto-captured for us? Okay, uh, someone pick Cyrus off the floor, please. Get to it. Okay, this is a. He's got very chaotic, unreal fast on this. Very chaotic, unreal fast. What's that supposed to be a pun? Yeah, real fast, not on real fast. Or unless I misspoke again. Maybe? I'm sure at the mo this moment. Okay, either way though, let's keep pushing forwards. Uh, what is going on? Hmm? You shoot into the bone gun and just throw out the bodies at you? And there was someone getting sniped out by Cyrus. Yeah, but why are they out like that? They, they, they're going to be thrown out. <laughs> Pretty cool factor of it. Looks a bit silly. Yeah, but that's half the, that's half the point of it. Uh, stupid. Cyrus, shut him up. Yeah, I, I think snipers are just the, completely the best option to dealing with those. Yeah. Everyone this way. Nope. Ah, uh, one of those again. Doesn't change uh -oh. the orders. Yes. <laughs> Actually, with this dreadnought, let's go take a look at uh, our side objective to get rid of all of the uh, demons or all of the shrines. And of course, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that animation has been in every of the Dawn of War games so far. At least some variation of it. Okay, whilst that dreadnought is dealing with that, let's send all of these over here. It is only extra experience, I believe, but still, every little bit will help. So we could even summon another one if we have the requisition for it and the power. Now oh, you're being chased by cultists. Okay. Mm. Alright, some of these actually attack, I believe. Just summons, summons. What what hit him then there? Something that's camouflaged or something? Okay. 
Anyway, this is just a case of overwhelming. Oh, oh no, there's a turret here. Okay, that explains that. Okay. Okay. Well, we still get refunded for it. So we can just summon another to deal with that. And again, certain buildings getting ignored by auto attack for some reason. Okay. You go deal with that. And yeah, just one dreadnought should be able to just get rid of the last two shrines there. While the rest just push back to the exit. He's just plucking them up one by one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not spamming that to sell for him doing that. <laughs> okay, get to there. Okay, a dreadnought make for a good counter against those bastard demons. Okay, all of you. Still push forwards there. And yeah, just pick up this last shrine. And that'll be that. Okay, it's a good thing that that cannon is slow with firing. Yep. Okay, now come on running over if you can. No, you can't. Holy. Okay, since that thing counts as a vehicle, it just goes pop just as easily. Okay. And of course, there's their own dreadnought waiting for us here. Cyrus, shut up, uh, shut them up, if you please. Yep. As all chaos must be beaten. We shall fail. Okay, just one assault marine charging into, <laughs> charging the noise marine to get their final blow. Okay. Whirlwind Creeping Barrage. Barrage that moves forward in the direction indicated. Okay, another global ability. And a level for the Ancient and Cyrus. Now, let's Wait, see. He did level up. Cyrus hmm? leveled up. Yeah, I said Cy for oh, the Ancient wait. and Cyrus. I just remember. Did we remember the shake last time? For what? If Cyrus got any XP at all? Uh... Completely forgot, but I'm going to nope. I'm going to presume that he still got the experience. I don't think he did. For last time, it was close to uh, getting a level. Hmm. Now he just got a level. But we did hmm. finish the bonus mission, so. For you, let's see. Penitence we can, we can blessing. Yeah, we can check on the recording. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Penitent's Blessing. Many space marines bury burden for their violent duty. This ancient seal adorned the armor of one such space marine, who fought a hundred-year crusade against the Dark Elder to atone for his crime of complicity with Xenos. And, well, easy choice, I'd say. <laughs> Terminator Squad. Deadly veterans of a thousand campaigns, Terminators are very powerful heavy infantry units, highly durable, immune to suppression, and can teleport. Cyrus, Martellus, you were right. Angelos was right. There is something rotting at the heart of the chapter, corrupting our battle brothers. Kairos, no doubt. He has been busy in our decade-long absence. No, I do not believe Kairos is to blame. The traitors named him as Ascendant, but that may be only to mislead us. Kairos is our chapter master. He is the heart of the chapter. If he were pure, this corruption would not have flourished. Diomedes, you have been in service to Kairos for centuries. 
and know him better than any other. Let me ask you this. Do you maintain Kairos' innocence because you know him to be a virtuous servant of the Emperor? Or because the shame of admitting to a life spent in service to a heretic is too much to endure? I do not enough! I will consider your words later. We have other matters to attend. What of the teleportarium? The new arrays found on this planet have been reactivated. They have given us the means to reach Meridian. Furthermore, I have intercepted a disturbing transmission from Renegade Guardsmen on that world. It has been prepared for your review, Captain, whenever you wish. Yes, yeah, Cyrus brings up a valid point there. A sunk, sunk cost fallacy. Like, if you've already been doing something for however long, uh, how, how, it's going to be difficult to stop with it because of the time you've already put into it. Yeah, know that. We have optionals again. Wonderful. Yep. XP. More loot. Let's see. Diomedes has a point, so let's give him taunt. And we've got some new weapons. Uh, first off, Martellus is getting this one back. <laughs> okay, let's see. Assault patterns. Okay. There. Okay, the description is the same, but it is slightly different. Like, it deals more damage, and that's actually about it. Okay, Ancient. Let's see. Hmm. These don't count as heavy weapons, though. He, with these, he fires instantly, no matter what. He doesn't have to set up for time. He doesn't have to set up to fire it. And we haven't gotten any heavy bolters or such. So I think we start in this line now. Hmm. Not that that specifically will be good for him, since he's going to be mostly at the back. <coughs> Gotta say that the ancient is the most there is the most versatile of all of these four, huh? Because he has a line specifically for frontline fighting with health or as a tank. He has one specifically for dealing damage, and he has one where he can be an assault marine. Yeah. Hmm. Cyrus still just going down this way. This is going to be useful against bosses. And still no weapon for you, sadly enough. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do wish that we Yeah, I do wish that we would get a bit more war gear every time with this since well it leaves quite some gaps in our, the, the possibilities that we can do like martellus has this specifically for melee but we still haven't found a single melee weapon except for, well we didn't find this one but this one came free with everything <clears throat> yeah and only one person can use it let's see and he yeah <clears throat> These are for bolter weapons, and we also don't have a single bolter weapon so far. But it might be that the drop rate is also tied in with the difficulty or such. Yeah, I think you said that uh, yeah. that it, it is. Yeah, that's the the quality of drops, not how m much war gear gets dropped. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And let's see, chapter keeps Celion, and I think I see one very good reason to go pick this one. Actually, two good reasons, but one will take over the other. Oh, now I'm curious. I realize time is not on our side, Ooh. Commander, and striking these heretics is not our immediate objective. I leave it to you whether we act. Command Vox again, wanting a report. That's the fourth time this week. We keep giving them dead air, and it won't be long before they decide to stop by. They gotta be wondering who's accepting their munition drops, after all. They can fox every minute until doomsday, if they please. We will not respond. You have heard the whispers. You'll know Oak, oh, oh, the will, the voice. We are his now. He is here. Well, they have forsaken us. If they, if anybody wants these munitions, wants this meat, they must take it from us. Of course, of course, sir. For all care. Yeah, someone's uh, still a bit unsure about everything, but I'm pretty sure if he tries to <laughs> voice his issues or leave, he is just going to get cannibalized himself. 
<clears throat> oh dear. Da, 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 da. Stage and have slowly been corrupted by chaos. Small pockets of loyalist guardsmen are still holding out, but the majority have turned. Okay, that's one difference from when we played through as the orcs. Um, munition dump and beware of ambush is, is the same though. So let's go over one more time. You with the axe, you with the flame. For if we do as orcs, both would be enemies anyway. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so far the lo these loading screens have been all the same. Now, let me double check. Yep. All forces to arms! Gun them down! Bring their flesh to the keep! All care shall feast this eve! Yeah, the voice actors for the guards definitely had their fun with this, huh? Also, Cyrus, why the hell are you up front? Now don't you go <laughs> don't you go bath mouthing the Imperial Guard as well, uh, Diomedes. We know what happened with Avatus. Okay, they're nice and packed up. Why does Cyrus have those two icons over his head? He's not a grenadier. Brother, I am here. Are you sure? Let's if anyone... Let's break some boxes, uh, once ones that uh, is emptied out. Yeah. Okay. The Armadillas can knock on the front door. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Professor, I mean, if you gun them down and then plan to feast on them, you're gonna have a lot of metal you're going to be chewing on. <laughs> True. Uh, you get all the boxes? I think so. I've got still a few there, but I will. Okay, I was expecting them to go into the bunker here, which is why I wasn't using the grenades. Now I can. The ancients, primary targets, Cyrus. Just put a big hole in a big guy. Atelus, pull back a bit. They sound more disappointed than anything else. More sad. Be vigilant. No, like a big child. Yeah, they're not going to get any more rations. Which is, well, most of what is driving Ogrins, to my knowledge. Just food. Just oversized cat. Well, that and the devotion to the Emperor. Okay. We can break... Okay, we could break that down for a shortcut. But let's be... <clears throat> let's be uh, safe and just clear out the entire area. We say let's get one squad as support. Yes. Yeah, we can get some assault marines or... I don't think we have enough. But we can't. We can't get uh, red knots at these. Can we get? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, but that does take up a massive amount of what we have available. You have. I shall arrive soon. I but they are walking tanks. Yeah. <laughs> How is it you've allowed the invaders to remain breathing? They walk in the open, begging to be slaughtered. Manticore batteries, vengeance and justice, crush them beneath your rockets! And here's some of the friendly ones. If, uh, you might want to get away from there, Martellus. 
Okay, that was rather cinematic. No reactions from those? Okay. Okay, you might want to take cover. Well, <laughs> those were uh, most of the uh, Imperial Guards. Okay, Martellus, can you just quickly deal with that? Ancient. Yeah, I think we're underneath his firing line now. Nope, it was still trying to shoot at us. <laughs> on my way. Okay. Moving on. I should probably grab some... Hmm, probably, yeah, probably grab some assault marines. Once we have more capacity. Also, by the way, my blood sugar is finally going down, so good levels. And it's increasing at a slow rate and not shooting right up. That's good loss. My because my blood sugar was 182. I just needed it below 160 to get my cataract removal operation. Okay, oh. that's good to hear. Let's see. I, 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 I hope we, it will go well. Definitely. <laughs> I shall arrive soon. Let's see. Yeah, it it would be a it would be a shame for one of our most prominent viewers to go blind and not be able to view anymore. <laughs> of course, it's, it's not just for that. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a dense pack. <laughs> okay. And it's all over again. And another thing I recently watched: if you play through. No commentary video of Mortal Kombat 1, the new one. Yeah, I've seen a, I've seen some videos on the fatalities and such of that lately, and some of them are quite something. It's Mortal Kombat. What do you yeah. expect? <laughs> well, I hope uh, a whole lot of mortality. Uh, <laughs> he still gets nailed even after he tries to get out. Okay, all of you focus that down. And then we can get some good reinforcement. Hopefully. Oh, ancient. Yeah, he doesn't even scream in pain or anything. Mastercraft and sniper rifle. Okay, finally a weapon for Cyrus. Okay, you grab that, you grab that. I'll grab these. And we don't have enough energy for Dreadnoughts. Ow. Hopefully we have enough uh, yellow stuff. <laughs> That's something good. Yeah, let's get some Assault Marines at least. Yeah. Martellus, grenades. On pizza lover again. Yeah, taking the cataract doesn't make you blind per se, but it makes you on the brink of it. Just make you wish you a love learn rather than just as it's like curtain in front of your eyes, rather than your eyes in front your your eyes it, it, itself being the problem. Actually, okay. oh, right. I think blind my father had it. Yeah. I don't think blinds similar. come different levels, like, you can see anything with your glow is a kind of blindness that you need to watch to see. But yeah, complete blindness is when you don't see anything at all. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I, I don't know specifically what my father had. Might be the same, could just be, yeah, could just be the same with just a different name in Dutch and such. <laughs> it actually rhymed a bit. But his vision massively improved once he had a, a, a laser operation. And I did not mean to rhyme again there. <laughs> okay, this is a spool from the over here. And yeah, MK1 has grinded the hell out of MK11 to get 
looks like a good but it seems for a few years this mo multiverse thing is gonna be a trend with movies and shows yeah i i, I read the summary of the uh, story as well which well it's mortal kombat of course is going to get bonkers and that seems to be that okay uh, uh, I saw figures of flying rocks. Uh, uh, the, the, don't you see? Yeah. Oh, right. That's where the shadows are coming from. <laughs> yeah, this this planet basically has a, a short distance uh, <laughs> ring at the moment from all the debris that's all care threw up over the time that threw up into the air let's see from it up again yeah it tends to happen with cataract but it matters on if the game doesn't deign to give all subtitles I don't think we need to be quiet for him oh dear yeah, it's from Pizza Lover. Yeah, it tends to happen with cataract, but it but it matters how long you have it and have and I have it in sense of so like 15 years. So my vision might not improve a single bit. Okay. Oh. I didn't know that was something you could be born with. Hmm. Yep, incoming. Okay, keep pushing forwards. Let's see if we can actually do something with these tanks here. Like, can we destroy them or can we <laughs> just take them over ourselves? I hope we can take them. But that will be a very beneficial deal. Okay, we can send the marines in there. Hmm. Okay, just open fire immediately. Yeah, we do just need to take them out as quickly as possible to try and not get them to activate the tanks. Okay, that, that went a lot easier now that we actually knew what was going to happen. Because I think last time all of them activated. Also, the fact that some of these are not corrupted explains why they were fighting amongst each other here. Yeah. You lot stay behind and capture that. Actually... Uh, Cyrus, you might want to duck and cover. <laughs> Actually, he's the only one not to get a hit. Okay. Oh, dear God. Let's see. From the server. Removing the cataract will stop it and the uh, stage it is removed so it won't get worse. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, my frog. I, I will let the healing read now, which doesn't interest my frog a little bit here. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it develops after 14, so like 16 or 18 plus ages. But the only way it can be developed in the early stages is if it is carried through genes. And my mother has also had cataracts, so it's most likely genetically that I have gained it. Okay. I thought it was caused by damage to the eyes in some way or another from a excessive sunlight or such. And the Terminator is just casually walking through a tank. stationed at this base has been hearing voices, having nightmares. This place is still cursed with the stink of chaos. We've been here years now, ever since Captain Angelos and his space marines left. Most went mad, but not all of us. We took action when you arrived, secured the munitions dump, gunned down the traitors here and... Treason is filth! So eager to join these pretenders! 
Then your blood and bones will lead theirs into Oka's Maw! I hear you going, you have something more uh, let's see from Katalover. Oh, good God. Yeah, what? Uh, What, uh, what pizza? Uh, let's see, I just looked at the top corner of the enemy and that animation is nightmare fuel. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, old animation. <laughs> that didn't look that bad. Come out of the storm. And if you thought that looked bad, then you have seen nothing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the same place that they attacked a mass as well or before. Let's see. Okay, the ancient and the yeah, ancient Osiris are keeping fire from the, the back. And these are fighting up front. Okay, you might want to jump away there, dudes. There we go. Yep, oh, other side. Nope, take that one out it quick. Not that bad. It looks like Clay the UK that came to life and got deep. Are you trying to compare it to StarCraft? <laughs> like, old StarCraft had better that look. Also, with how terrible the, with how terrible the technology in this world is, it's... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was considered high definition in, in the Imperium's eyes. Possibly, and also, this is an old game. We've driven them off. Me and the lads can hold this location for now, Commander. If you take the keep, you'll break the back of the Renegades. Good luck, sir. The Imperium overcomes. Okay, N nice to see the guard get a bone every now and then. Like this. this game has better camera animation than other games that came around this era. <laughs> Deal with these quick. Let's see, pizza. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, old game and that, but it's also strangely smooth. It's too smooth for me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, don't forget that little thingy there. Also, let's not forget these. Actually, I think we can only have... Yeah, only one of them. Oh well, we'll have replacements walking after, in after us then. Oh, we can... Okay, we can... Oh, we can actually have all three of them, okay. <laughs> the convoy of dreadnoughts. Okay. Nope, oh, was ambushed there whilst he was looking away. A piece of vigor, okay. But they still managed to deal with it. Let's now. see, pizza. Oh, by the way, what is that under Kier's helm? It looks like a gas mask. You have it's a space marine helmet. <laughs> In the salamander style, to be specific. Yes. Hmm? Revnot dispensary. Okay, that, that must be for a dreadnought upgrade. <laughs> oh, the moves. Okay, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know exactly when it was again, 
it was still in this year, but at one point I decided I got a bit tired of making new images for Drakir with every different game, so I just decided I'll just put, I'll just uh, add the helmets as, as a different source and overlay that on everything. And, okay, yeah, the, the taunt thing is a target-specific one. It, oh well. What? I can say this. I think the gas bus is out of the damn helmet. Oh, they do. You know, they do function as uh, breathing devices as well. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Ancient, knock knock, please. You may be silent, but your weapon certainly doesn't have to be. And now you three arrive. <laughs> I mean, you want to read this. Uh, let's see, Pizza, I can just imagine a fully armored lizard rushing into battle while taking direct hits from tanks. <laughs> uh, I, that was one of my ideas that uh, Hila just put me in a space yes, mean armor yes. with just my head Come poking out. All care welcomes all! We require more resources. I am okay. Get some devastators as well. And let's ruin these guys' day, huh? Oh dear gods. And now, I'm, now I might actually just try and put your head in a Terminator armor. <laughs> See if I can do that. On, yes, let's do that. Let's do that before next time we stream this, but that wouldn't be funny. <laughs> okay, Martellus. Yeah. Martellus is late with the grenades again. <laughs> okay. New lots. Actually, swap to that and take a position. Um, yeah, just the dreadnoughts just knocking them all over the place. <laughs> Put another hole into the Chaos Prison. You wish destroyed. Okay. Yeah, this should go easily enough. Ooh. Yeah, you can try and run away, but you're not escaping from that. There we go. Enjoy the mercy of death, lunatic! Death comes for all! May... May my flesh fester and rot and give life anew on Urgo. And yes, that's that was a Wilhelm screen, right? I added one into the soundboard. Is Al have access to? Which was probably my biggest mistake, but oh well. A jump pack, okay. Astartes Type 12 jump pack, extended lift capacity, enabling the wearer to cover distances both long and short. The real value is not so much in the rising, but the falling. Crashing down onto the enemy position causes much disruption and deals damage to light infantry. Okay. And I'm guessing we can give that there to Diomedes, so our commander can turn into a jet... into a jump trooper. <laughs> okay. uh, who? That's a lot of war gear, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Mastercrafted Sniper Rifle, the Stardis Mark II S, with a long range and but slow rate of fire, this perfectly balanced rifle excels at eliminating high value targets from range. Effective against single infantry, it makes him faster as well. Power Axe, sheath in a sparkling power field, this axe can cut through man and machine alike, effective versus infantry and vehicles. Contemplation of the Codex, grants experience. Intensive study of the Codex Astartes allows the Space Marine to gleam some of the wisdom of the great warriors who preceded him. An Artificer Bolter. A weapon of incomparable craftsmanship. This Bolter was gifted to the Blood Ravens at the behest of the Vashiro, chief... Uh, at the Vashiro, chief prognosticator of the Silver Skulls. Can't say I've heard of them before. No, have I? I guess it's one of the lesser known Space Marine chapters. 
Uh, let's see, recycle this war gear in order to unlock the next Dreadnought upgrade. Okay, and that's all. Hmm. Let's see, pizza, thought you were going to say transform into a jetpack. No. Let's see, searing melter gun. Damage over time on hit, slows enemies, 25% chance to do a lot more damage. Uh, let's see. Hydraulic Promethium Injectors add a lingering burn to the wounds inflicted by his mastercrafted weapon. Driving a scorching gout of molecularly agitated heat, melted guns can cut through any armor at close range. Okay. So we have a bit of a choice now. We can pick this one, but if we use the thing we got just now, we can get this one as well. So do we pick the Predators? I say let's pick the Predators. Okay, there, and just the turn. give you the jetpack, and yeah, Dreadnought Dispensary, and that, yep, that unlocked the Dreadnought Cannon. The next one would have been Dark Age of Technology to add extra health. That, okay, really? <laughs> that, re that name really doesn't do what, it act what the upgrade actually does any justice. Actually, it does. A lot of doggy technology things were very high quality. Okay, uh, the so only yeah, but it just extra health does doesn't sound impressive enough for an upgrade like that. Uh, let's see. It was doubled, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Okay, the one you have is just playing better because it actually has upgrades and such. Now we could finally give <laughs> Martellus a melee weapon for this point here. But. Da, da, da. Yeah, it must be channeled. Hmm. Let's see. We haven't. <laughs> We should probably be putting down those turrets more. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So which of these would you say to get? The missile turret or the channeling of uh, extra vehicle damage? Though that means I that Martellus himself can't act. Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. How do I know what kind of mission we have next? That would be probably be easier. Hmm. Though I, I guess the turret sense getting as fast as possible to that damn glorious dreadnought drop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pizza. Oh, and poor rat that I had has in fact passed away from death by cats. Okay. What happened then? Uh, uh, sorry to hear. Let's he also said see. death by cat, so... Yeah, but did they get out or something, or did the uh, cat get in? Uh, let's see, nothing specific with rest in peace. Let's see. Okay, that's a significant upgrade. Also, we should probably just throw that away. <clears throat> uh, ancient. Yeah, let's, let's go that way. Cyrus, you get your first ultimate ability there. Uh, let's see. Stray cat got in through open window, ate him, and ran away. Didn't harm my rabbits, though, so I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> At least one survivor. And, yeah, that, that's one good reason to keep... Well, maybe not to keep your... Yeah. <clears throat> to keep your windows closed or install some sort of a bug net or something to keep anything from getting in too easily. I remember. That, that rat wasn't your pet, was it? Just a rat that started leaving your room, was it? Or was it someone else who had a playful tiny rat? Mm. Yeah, wasn't that supposed to be a mouse with someone, or am I just getting things confused? Either way, we have something for Cyrus now. Uh, from Pizza Lover, I li from Pizza Lover, I live on the first story. Okay, I didn't think cats could climb up there. Okay, well, now you know that cats can, in fact, climb up there. Mm. 
Uh, normally yes. no, but it will depend on the layout. Let's see. Shall we turn this in for someone? So Diomedes gets a chainsword, the ancient gets a plasma gun, Mortellus gets a flamer, or Cyrus gets a shotgun. I think Cyrus is a lot better off with a sniper rifle. Mortellus has a flamer, yes, but it's a rather basic one, a very extremely basic one. And the ancient already has that, and well, Mortellus has his special purple gear. Yeah. Mm. So, Martellus? Yeah, why not? Let's see. Okay, there's only five more in damage, but these things are well, dealing damage rapidly. And movement speed increase, okay. Okay, that is kind of <laughs> useful. <laughs> Let's see. Mark 3A Heretic Pattern Flamer. The flamer mixes a uh, yeah, the flamer fires a mix of chemicals that upon contact with the air ignite to put forth a steady stream of cleansing flame. Excellent against enemies in cover or in buildings. And Okay, only the first bit of there is a little bit different from that one. Hmm. Okay. Now Priority Box Channel Secundus. Lord Ascendant. I lead the faithful assaulting Capital Spire. I am pleased to report that the Spire's defenders have fallen. They were unprepared for an attack from within. We shall hold the Spire and await your transmission bearing further instructions. Glory to the Ascendant. Glory to Korn. This is the opening we need. If we journey to Meridian, we can intercept this Ascendant's Vox communications and expose his identity. Hmm. Now we only have eight minutes left though, so shall we still go do this last mission or shall we call it a bit yeah, shall we call it a little bit early? Since well we already started an a, an hour earlier. It's probably <laughs> better we uh, call it here for this one is a little bit longer one if I remember right. Okay. And let's see, pizza, that voice actor sounds familiar. Which one, for the guards or for Cyrus? Because Cyrus is voiced by Steve Blum. And yes, well, this is Steve Blum. <laughs> if you know voice acting somewhat, you know, you know uh, Steve Blum. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, yeah, we'll get to that mission next time then. And yeah, just nice to have a longer stream again sometimes. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I could try and prep some more easy meals just for if yeah, dinner is just delayed for some dumb reason or another. And let's see, that guy who sounded kind of young and British. Okay, so the Imperial Guards, I'm guessing. There are um, many voice actors that sound familiar. I think many voice actors did double duty on this one as well. Yeah, double and triple in some cases. <clears throat> okay, for now though. Let's head on over here, and we go look for someone to raid. So, yep, there, game close. Let me bring these. Actually, probably just easier if I just close this off. And then there, there. Uh, th th switch, go live. And there. Okay, let's see. Who are online? We have Dr. Misunderstood, who is playing Shantae in the Pirate's Curse. Swalbe 17, uh, Swalbe who is playing retro. Let's see, fortifying Drassen and something else. Uh, Jagged Alliance 2. Okay. Then we have Shanker Crab with Pokemon Fire Red slash Leaf Green. Uh, Sloop Tube is playing Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Corridust is playing Lethal Company. Uh, skipping Ginger because uh, Jimmy McGinger uh, because of cross codes. And they still just want to go in that completely without any possible spoilers. Chubbers the Moon Seal is playing Dark Souls 2. Scholar of the First Sin. Okay, is that an expansion of sorts or something? Grim the Wolf is playing Skyrim. Smooped on the Nonsense is playing Stellaris. Halloween is playing Alan Wake 2, and last but not least, we have Touch Scaly Tail, who is playing Remnants 2. Okay, any of those sound interesting, or shall I take a pick? 
Uh, I'll let him take a pick this time. Uh, let's see. Did we raid Korra recently? Uh, I think it was a while we raided them. Well, at least last week, I think we raided them. Hmm. Or was it two weeks ago? Let's see. There's also Shanker. We raided Dr. Misunderstood recently. Though, well, I do like I do like Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, so let's actually go raid them. I'm going to break my rule a bit. They just uh, started it, it looks like. Uh, no, actually... Oh, this, I, this actually looks like the end of it. <laughs> they are two hours in already. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's the ending of the game. <laughs> okay. I better need to raid. Or... Hmm... Uh, yeah, let's see. I'm thinking then, uh, Shanker. Been a while since we've raided them. Let's. Okay, and let's see. Pizza has been talking. Uh, let's see. Remember to stay hydrated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll stick for raids. Oh, I like Dark Souls. Big fan of Dark Souls. No, I think that's just the name of the game itself, or maybe it's a DLC like Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Uh, Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition is, I believe, just the, the PC version name. Mm. Uh, let's see. Channel, name. Mm. Pirate theme <laughs> YouTuber who wants to raid a guy playing a game about pirates. I wonder what could make him raid him. <laughs> okay. All the same, though. Slash raid and paste. But before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, uh, the Siren Ivy, for the raids. And let's see, any known lurkers here? Uh, let's see, Sensei, I see you there. <laughs> okay. And thank you, as always, Bakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining this madness. Yeah, we'll continue with this game on Thursday. Uh, maybe multiplayer stream tomorrow with Valheim. If uh, Glacier Boy is available, yeah, for, I think they were still sick, but I will, I will ask them tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> All the same, though, we'll still have, uh, well, Thursday and the weekend, of course. But for now, let's get that raid started. I said, let it. Get, there we go. For some reason, it didn't <laughs> accept the enter. Okay, let's see. Pleasure you know, talking with you both. Remember to stay hydrated, Rakir, dried up lizards. <laughs> Look awful. <laughs> okay. Uh, either way, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and pizza lover. What? <laughs>